Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 194. Before we get into today's function over here, I just threw this note up here. We've been doing uh, quite a few of these math and trig and some of these statistical functions. Back in Excel videos 100 to 103 when we were talking about charting, I covered some functions in the statistical side that might be helpful for you. There's forecast, intercept, slope, and trend that uh, you can use as part of charting and add forecasts and trends and things like that to your chart or you can use these functions without a chart to forecast hey, if collections have been this over the past four months where do I expect them to be over the next four months some of those kind of things that may be helpful for you I threw this note out here to remind you that they're there as we go through the statistical functions I've already covered them but I wanted to make sure you knew they were out there if they'll be helpful for you today's a simple function it's called ran between and well I guess we'll start by looking at it for a minute all rand between does is give you a random number between whatever the bottom number is and whatever the top number is and the deal is it's going to be an integer no fractions no uh, decimals that kind of thing so it'll give you an integer between whatever you say the bottom is whatever you say the top is and a random number well when would you use that my example here might be charts to audit if you're trying to figure out hey you know I'm doing some kind of compliance thing I want to find 10 charts or 100 charts or 5 charts or whatever I'm looking for what you can do is use ran between and start my first chart number is a thousand my last chart number is fifty thousand I want ten charts and what you can do is just copy that formula down and the way ran between works is every time the cell updates if you come over here and do anything to the cell it's anything to any cell in the spreadsheet every time those uh, random numbers and random dates will uh, refresh and you'll get a new random number so what I'll do is once I've got the random numbers the way I want them, I'm going to do a copy, come over to the home tab and paste special. So now these are still random and when I do this, though these dates are changing but the random numbers don't. So I can get myself some random numbers and use copy and paste special once I've got what I want to pick some charts to audit. Let's say I want random dates. Let me show you how to kind of combine rand between to get a date. And all the function is, is it looks like this. It's just today and remember today is just going to return today's date minus a random number between 1 and 365 days ago so sometime in the past year I want 10 days to go back and I'm going to look at did we bill all the claims on that day or I'm going to look at um, collections on that day or whatever it is I want to go back and audit I can combine the today function then subtract out a random number between 1 and 365 and I can get a day in the past year to go back and do some chart audits or whatever else that might be helpful for you with random numbers and again, when you've got the random dates or numbers that you want, it's just a matter of copy and paste special, and you're good to go. It will lock those dates in, the random goes away, and you've got 10 or 15 or 20 or however many charts or dates or whatever else you need to do some compliance, some testing, whatever you're trying to do in your practice. But ran between is helpful for those kind of things, and I thought I'd show it to you. Stay tuned next time. There are a couple of more functions that we're going to uh, cover, and I've got two more for you next time. Thanks for watching.